So I'm going to use ChatGPT and show how to ev quickly evaluate resumes and kind of parse out deep insights that might be missed by regular human review, right? And it also just helps speed the process up. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell ChatGPT its role, and its role is it's a hiring manager. And we're going to give it a task. And the task we're going to give it is to evaluate three resumes. And these are fictional resumes that I got online that are kind of related to the job description. So it's going to evaluate these three resumes. We're going to copy and paste these resumes into here, again, from fictional individuals, just resume template resumes. I don't want to use anybody's personal information on here. So these three fictional resumes are going to be evaluated against a real job description from a California city. And we're going to see what kind of insights we get from it and see what happens when we use ChatGPT as kind of an ATS type of reviewer, right? And see if it can help automate this process and help speed along and help us be able to come to a hiring decision even faster with, uh, with this technology and with this tool set. So let's go ahead and add these things in here. You can see different different uh, resume sites that we put in here, different resumes we got. And another thing too I want to add as we do this is I'm using ChatGPT Plus and its GPT-4 model because I'm using the WebPilot and the AI PDF plugins. One of the reasons why I like using ChatGPT Plus and the, AI, uh, the GPT-4 model is because especially of these different PDF plugins, extremely useful, extremely helpful to be able to ma uh, manage and analyze and gain insights into large swaths of data. One thing we'll say too is with the AI PDF type of plugins like AI PDF, chat with your PDF, ask my PDF, they all require a URL with the .pdf as its extension. So just keep that in mind if you use it, uh, it has to have that extension on it. So right now ChatGPT is gonna go through and analyze this using WebPilot first. It's gonna look at the job description, gonna look at some of the key responsibilities in the document, some of the qualifications that are necessary for this position. Kind of gives me a quick summary of what I'm looking at, right? Now one thing I did say in the prompt is that I wanted ChatGPT to prioritize leadership. Now obviously if you have a job description that your city has written, you're gonna know exactly what you're looking for, not only the job description, but also beyond that too. And so you can obviously put in ChatGPT well, the different skill set, maybe some soft skills, maybe some key skills, you know, focus on maybe budgeting or focus on accounts management or whatever it is that you want to look at, right? You can put that in ChatGPT and have it evaluate it so. So what's going to happen now is we're going to look at the different resumes. It's going out of order, but that's fine. It'll get to the right one. So Bruce Williams up first. And this fictional character is going to have some uh, kind of look at his skill sets, his educational background, um, and some of the skills that he has here too. Now it's going to evaluate. It's going two, three, and then one, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Good. We'll take this route and we we'll get to the same destination either way. Oh, sorry, my screen just flipped on me. So the third candidate, John C. Financial. Again, you can tell, fictional character. This is one that has some uh, experience in the federal government, particularly with NASA in budget formulation execution, uh, internal control systems as well too in the financial side of things. Uh, some leadership experience as well in that role which would be interesting. And right away it looks like ChatGPT is a big fan of John C. Financial given his experience in the federal government and looking at that role. And now here's the third one, Connor Scott. It's going to go through here. And one thing too to think about when we, as ChatGPT is evaluating these candidates is I gave it the link to the job description, right? Told him it's a city hiring manager, but I never once said anything about the need to uh, focus on city or public administration experience, right? But it inferred that given the fact of the job description I gave it and the role of the hiring manager, which is interesting, right? So let's ask ChatGPT what are the top five skills. Now, obviously, if you wrote the job description yourself or if you have some skills that you want to focus on you could put these skills in there and ask ChatGPT to evaluate against those top five skills you don't have to ask ChatGPT to pull that out for you so it's going to evaluate using AI PDF this time and it's going to tell me the top five skills according to the job description and so here it is the top five skills are performing responsible and difficult administrative and analytical work, 
ability to interpret, explain, and apply you know, regulations at the federal, state, and local level. And then finally, to evaluate situations, problems, and communicating effectively. Right? So those are the different skills that according to the job description are the top five skills. And now what we're going to do is we're going to ask ChatGPT to list the strengths and weaknesses of each candidate. So that's where you can kind of see a pros and cons list. What are, you know, what are the strengths and maybe most importantly or even as importantly, what are the weaknesses? So it's going to go through and evaluate these different individuals. Starting here with Connor Scott. And here's some of the strengths this individual has. Here's some of the weaknesses according to their resume. And we can take this and look at it and then make a hiring decision because we want to hire based on the individual and not just hire based on the resume, right? Because a resume is just a snapshot of the individual and we hire people on not resumes. So here's some weaknesses according to, this individual, according to ChatGPT for this individual. And then John C. Financial, the favorite son of uh, ChatGPT here, it's gonna like this individual a lot. Here's some strengths, weaknesses. Again, really powerful tool. I hope you enjoy watching. And next time, please sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Thank you.